In the build show today, we're talking copper plumbing. I plumbed my entire house with type L copper, and we used a new type of fitting. Now, this is a traditional fitting, but this is from the pioneers of the press system. This is the Vega Pro Press system. Today's video is sponsored by Vega and Rigid. Let's get going. All right, guys, I plumbed this entire house in copper, and believe it or not, this is my first time in my 25 years of building of doing an all copper plumbing system. Now, copper has been the gold standard for years. Really, generations of builders have relied on copper. There's a lot of benefits to copper over the other plumbing systems out there, but I think the main benefit is that this is a natural material. It's mined from the earth and made into piping. There's no chemicals, there's no plastics. There's nothing that could leach into your water. And in fact, copper has some antimicrobial properties as well. So people swear by copper. The way that we've put copper in our houses over the years has been with these types of fittings. This is a sweat on fitting where the plumber is actually heating the pipe up and putting a flux in there, which is fusing these two pieces of copper with this flux in the center. Now this is a little bit tricky and it takes a while, but what we're gonna be talking about today is kind of a new version of fittings. And that's this right here. This is the Vega Pro Press system. Now this system is a system that can be actually manually pressed to fuse the copper without having to use a torch. Now we're gonna be doing that, or we have been doing that on this entire house. Now before we get into the fittings, let me tell you about the copper piping itself. This is a commodity pipe, lots of different people make it, you're going to find it all over the place. But there's three different wall thicknesses you need to know about. There's K, L, and M, and as you go down in the alphabet, the wall thickness is thinner. So K is the king, that's the thickest copper, and you're not typically going to see that in a residential job. Usually it's going to be L, or actually M is probably the most common in residential these days, because copper is a commodity, and this pipe itself is valuable and frankly, more expensive than a lot of other piping systems. Now we opted to go L in this house. That slightly thicker wall means that I'm gonna get a slightly longer service life. But we're talking about decades, not years, right? Even the thinnest copper is gonna go at least 50 plus years. I think if we're using L copper, we might actually get more like 70 plus years out of this. But these fittings made by Vega and pressed with this rigid uh, tool right here are actually thicker than M copper. And if you compare this fitting with a standard copper fitting, you can really see that difference. Look how thin that looks uh, on that sweat on fitting compared to the Vega fitting. Now, I'm not gonna get in quite yet into all the intricacies of how this works, but I do wanna show you the tool and talk about the press system real quick. So Rigid makes a full line of these tools. This is a compact version, but they make a bigger one as well. And what this is gonna do, this tool is actually gonna exert several thousand, like actually over 5,000 pounds of force on this little three-quarter fitting. And you can see they've got fittings for jaws at half inch, three-quarter, all the way up to inch and a quarter for this little compact tool. But I'll show you later, they make a bigger tool that will press up to four inch copper. Now it's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna turn the tool on on the top here, and then I'm gonna press the button. And watch these jaws. If you, if you kind of zoom in right there, you're gonna see the action. And we're done. Check it out. It kind of clamps in there. Now what's happened was those jaws are like a, two lobster claws that are putting 5,000 pounds of pressure on here. And they're actually fusing the copper together. Now inside the fitting, I have a cutaway around here somewhere. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> All right, job site accidents happened. Luckily, no one was injured in the filming of this copper Vega Pro Press video. All right, so let's talk about the fittings, right? Here's a, another Vega fitting. This is for a half inch. And a couple things that I really like about these, look at the sweep on that fitting. See how it's not a hard 90 compared to the sweat on fitting? It's got a nice sweep in there. We like that. That's gonna help move that water through the pipe uh, without creating turbulence in the water, which is not good for us. We want nice smooth flow. So I like that these are sweep fittings. 
And let's actually talk about that press that I just made. Here's a cutaway of one, and it's gonna be a little hard to tell on video, but when those jaws press it down, they actually press the pipe and the fitting into an octagonal shape. And what you're gonna see in the middle there is an EPDM sealing element. Now this is not a gasket, right? This isn't doing the waterproofing for us on that joint. It's actually buried in that copper fitting and we've basically fused the copper walls of the fitting to the walls of the pipe on both sides of that sealing element. So that sealing element, in fact, is not in the water flow. And so it's gonna last a long, long time. And it's really kind of a backup in some respects. This is actually a 600 PSI tested, 300 PSI working. Um, this is serious business right here when we put one of these fittings on. They are not coming off. That is ridiculously strong. All right, guys, I actually have Clint, my plumber, on standby to show us the difference between the traditional system and the Vega Pro Press. Let's meet him outside. All right, guys, I got Clint, my plumber. Clint also did my house. And today, we're gonna show you the difference between the Vega Pro Press system. This is gonna utilize this tool from Rigid, which is actually gonna press down with a ton of force onto this fitting by Vega. And inside there, there's an EPDM sealing element, but ultimately it's the copper to copper connection, which is really mainly doing our water sealing on the inside there. But I thought it would be interesting to have Clint show you the difference in time between a traditional sweat on copper fitting and this Vega Pro Press fitting. So Clint, I'm gonna uh, time you with my little uh, camera here, and I'm gonna play Keller commentary to, sh to uh, kind of talk these guys through it. But are you ready awesome. to start? And I yep. will hit the uh, start button. Go for it. Okay, so Clint's using half inch pipe. I'm gonna kind of walk you through the process. He's gonna cut that pipe to the proper length, and we're including this in the uh, time gauge as well. We'll do this when we do the, uh, the other version, which is the uh, torch version. But he's gonna cut that pipe, and then in that cutting process, there's gonna be a little bit of burring potentially happening that we need to deburr. Now he's got a rigid deburring tool. This is a two-sided tool. The inside is done first, then he's gonna flip it over and do the outside of the pipe. And that's taken off any uh, rough edges on that copper. That inside deburr is also gonna make sure we've got a nice clean water flow on the inside of the pipe. Then he's taking that Brillo pad and cleaning it up. Next step, he's gonna drop that fitting on to full depth and he's gonna mark it all the way around the pipe. This is gonna ensure that when he presses it, he's got full depth. Because when that press happens, that Vega Pro Press system, it's, it's kind of like a, uh, uh, a lobster claw that's pressing down on the copper. And you're gonna notice in a second that it's actually pressing on both sides of that fitting. And that EPDM sealing element is in the middle there. And here we go. Here's where the magic happens. Okay, what do we hit? About a minute 35, including all the clean and all the prep. And now he's got a fully waterproof, ready to go fitting. That's gonna be there for the lifetime of the pipe. Well done, Clint. Minute 36. All right, let's reset and do the same thing now with a sweat on. All right, next up, we'll reset for a copper sweat on fitting. So let's start the timer and Clint's gonna take the same process. All right, brother, you ready? Okay, so first, same exact cutting process. We're just trying to keep this the same so that we can make a fair comparison uh, between the two systems and the time it takes. So he's gonna cut that, and then same process as before, he's gonna deburr it on the inside. Okay, there we go. Now time to uh, clean that pipe up a little bit with that uh, Brillo pad. Okay, now he's cleaning the inside of the fitting and the inside of the pipe. This is a step we didn't have to do when we were using the Vega Pro Press because those are ready to go. So you would not be using this tool with the Vega Pro Press. Okay, now time for a little flux. And he's gonna put it on both the fitting and the pipe. And remember that flux is gonna move, help move our solder into that fitting when he's soldering that fitting on. Plumbers have been doing this for many, many decades in America. This is a very old process. 
And honestly, I think it's one of the reasons why people like copper so much is that it's so old, it's been around so long that uh, you know people are just used to it. Okay, now it's time for the hot work. He's using map gas, that's that yellow uh, canister. You could use uh, propane as well, it's just gonna take a lot longer. The map is a little hotter. Okay, it's looking good. Clint's getting that solder in there. And we are done. So what did we end up at? We're about just a hair over two minutes. So well, if you want to include the time it takes for that to get cold enough for me to touch it. Oh, that's true. Good point. It's still hot now. You got to wait a few. That's a good point. So it's at least a minute, if not a minute 30 longer, which in the end is probably about double the time as the Vega Pro Press. The difference though, or one big difference is this guy right here. This is a little bit dangerous to use on the job site. And a lot of times fittings are not being done on the truck like this in a super safe environment. Clint's got to use something that's going to protect the wood framing from getting hot or ultimately igniting. Uh, there you go right there. He's got one uh, from, is that an OD product it looks like? And, uh, and so what this is going to do is he's going to wrap that around and make sure, yeah, he's going to put that behind. So when that flame hits that, it's not going to ignite that two by four. So ultimately about twice as fast and certainly way safer on the course of the house. Big thanks to Clint. Good job demoing those. I think it's interesting to think about too, the difference between a traditional system, a lot of consumables, potentially a hot work permit someone on fire watch, making sure you've got the fire extinguisher ready to go. There's a fair amount of intricacies uh, on the original copper system versus this Vega Pro Press. Let's talk a little bit about these fittings though. I think some of you may be concerned that these fittings may not be long lasting, which honestly was my concern the very first time I saw this system. But a couple things have won me over on Vega. Check this out. This is a demo from Germany where it's actually made where the rep gave this to me. They make a uh, uh, kind of a check system where they take one of their fittings, they take a half inch piece of copper and they air this up. And this actually got aired up to 3100 PSI. And you can see the fittings did fine, but the pipe itself blew out the wall of the pipe. And you can see how it's kind of expanded that half inch pipe, which means that up to 3100 PSI, this connection right here at the Pro Press, the Vega Pro Press did not move nice and tight, no issues. Okay, one more thing that's kind of cool on their half inch to two inch fittings, they have this thing called the Smart Connect. You're going to notice a little green paint dot on each one of these fittings in that size. And what that is, is there's a little bit of a divot in the fitting so that if this didn't get pressed correctly, you would leak a little bit of water or air when you pressure tested your system before your inspections, and you would know that this was not pressed correctly. That's kind of a cool little system. And the other thing I wanted to mention was the tool that we've been using from Rigid, this is their inline tool, kind of a compact tool, and this is gonna work for half inch up to inch and a quarter, but this is a perfect kit for us. We typically aren't doing anything residential on my houses bigger than one inch. If you need to go bigger though, you're going to want to get their bigger tool. This guy will do up to four inch copper fittings. Again, you're not going to find that in residential very much, but in commercial, you absolutely will. Guys, hopefully you learned something on this system. I've really enjoyed using copper. As I said earlier, uh, my client on this project uh, is an older couple. They were excited to have copper in their house because they've had that uh, for decades in other houses with no issues. Vega is telling me they're Pro Press system is a 50 year warranty on these fittings, which is kind of in line with what I'm seeing online for how long copper is going to last. But ultimately, these fittings are actually thicker copper than the copper we're using in the house. So, this is an excellent system. It's going to be around a long time. Guys, big thanks to Vega for sponsoring today's video. Very impressive system. I've really enjoyed doing my very first house in copper. I think we're going to see a lot more of this on residential jobs especially with as bomber and bulletproof as their system is, and frankly, pretty easy for the plumbers to pick it up, plus a ton of advantages compared to the hot work and the time it takes 
to do a traditional sweat on fitting. I'll put links to everything we talked about today, including some of these tools from Rigid that we used in the description below. But if you're not currently a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. We've got new content every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.